What's up, guys? How y'all been doing? Um, been all good and quiet here. But uh, what I wanted to do for y'all today um, is kind of go over what you need to do with your Zippo whenever you first get it. Um, you know, you, you just open it, it's just out of the package. Um, if you put fluid in there, it'll run just fine for you. But a way that you can kind of get fluid to the wick faster and um, keep it running maybe slightly longer also. So let's uh, get started. Um, I'm going to show you on here what um, how it comes set up and what I suggest that you do for it. So you go ahead and open it up here and um, pull it out of the housing. And what you're going to do, maybe you flip it over, there's a little screw here. Um, just use your screwdriver there just loosen it up a little now you you can use the lid on there for this um, I don't recommend that especially if you have one that's uh, you know vintage or worth some money these are not but it can scratch up that lid there if you do that just I mean that's up to you but I just I just wouldn't do that uh, but you unscrew this and you got to be careful there because that spring will pop out. Um, that's what pushes your flint up to the wheel there. So let's just set this off to the side a little. Go ahead and dump out this uh, flint. That's what that looks like. Move that over to the side. Um, so you're going to pull this part out. Now what, what's in here, what's inside, are these uh, rayon, rayon balls. I'm pretty sure that's what they are, this rayon. Not actually cotton. Um, but there's going to be about four or five of them, I think. And you're just going to pull these out. Let's see. Oh. Let's see here. Yeah. So what you'll see whenever you look in here, I think that that should be there. Anyways, the wick is all crammed down up into the top section here. Um which is fine and it will work because um, it has but what I propose what I suggest anyways that you do I'm having trouble with this thing um, you just reach in here and you grab this just pull it let's see you don't have to pull it all the way out um, go ahead and just leave it up there but what I suggest that you do in fact, let's pull it up a little bit higher up here. Okay. Um, what I suggest that you do, though, <laughs> it's giving me problems. Hold on to it up there. Okay. Go ahead and take one of these and shove it down in here, just like this. Just put it in there like that. Now, roll this over on top of that. Okay, so that it's kind of sandwiched in between it and the next one. Okay, just shove those back in there like that. Um, you can go ahead and put two in there. That'll be fine. But what I would do, put two in and then lay this on top of that one. So that it's kind of weaved in between all of them. Um, go ahead and push that one on there. And let's see, actually, this one, what I would do also is put one over here on the side. They, they for some reason, they don't fill this section over here up, um, at least in any of the ones that I've gotten. And uh, they just don't really fill that up. I don't, I don't know why not, but it's just empty space there. So now that you've got that all tucked away in there, you're welcome. You're ready to uh, reassemble that. Now, another thing that you can do, this is our main flint here. I'm going to go ahead and drop it in so I don't forget. Um, it just goes in there. But another thing that you can do is go ahead and take an extra flint, put it up there, and you can even put an extra wick down here. Okay. So what, you're, what you'll do, make sure everything's inside there. Um, go ahead and then you can put that back on. Screw you. Put your screw back in and just tighten that down. Let's see. 
try and tighten that back up. You don't have to be super tight, just, just so that it's tight enough there. Um, so this is what you'll end up looking like here. And what you'll do, go ahead and put you a little, I use this uh, Rossinol instead of Zippo just because it's cheaper. Um, same basic stuff, so it'll all work. Um, as far as filling it up, I don't know what the exact rule is here. I just fill it up till I think I'm good. I don't, I don't know, whatever. Just fill it up till, till whenever. Whenever you think it's fine. <laughs> um, don't put it in backwards. Put it back in there. Um, now, the, the advantage to this is you, the fluid gets to your wick faster. Um, yeah, I think that it does last a little bit longer just because it's in the wick instead of those uh, rayon balls. Now, it, um, <coughs> sorry, it still is going to evaporate eventually and that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to make sure your wick is good to go up here. i got it kind of frayed and gross looking, but it'll be okay. That's a little better. All right, so let's uh, see how we're good. And that's what you do. That's just a little tip. Um, if there's any other tips that you guys know about that you can use that will kind of help la make it last longer or uh, anything like that, drop a comment down there. Let me know. Thanks, guys, and y'all have a good one.